see how it works out. Maybe it'll fail miserably, which I think it probably will. So, <laughs> here we go. It's gotta be the best in-game cutscene of all time. So long. This intro is a punishment to failing a run. There's really no other way to look at it. I think the intro is like, it ends up being like some six minutes and change or something. I mean, if you take the RNG route, you're looking at about 18 minutes just to find out if you're going to be able to progress past Charmy. So, it's a steep, uh, Steep curve, I guess, for your sanity. Oh, Marty. Once again. Worthless shit, kid. funny because it might not seem like much but <clears throat> faster spamming can get you it can save you a couple seconds through the the six minutes over the regular tap tap so I try and spam pretty furiously if I can especially this part here where there is quite a bit of dialogue but some of it can be skipped through where the dialogue boxes will pop up faster Six sound effects, though. <laughs> Dope, dude. <laughs> Jeez, Brad. Oh. <laughs> and now you get another solid two minutes of autoplay. We just kick back. Relax the first time. I tried to speedrun this. I didn't really know what. Uh, I didn't know that this was this whole thing was a cutscene. Um, so the part coming up where you're in like Brad's dream or whatever. I tried to. I was trying to walk and 
you know, spam right and left and keep mashing A as fast as possible right here. <clears throat> but it's a cutscene, all right. Be beautiful if we could find out a way to skip all this. It's actually a good spot if you forgot to, you know, go to the bathroom before you start or get some water or something. You have a solid couple minutes to go and do what you need to do. Because this really isn't a run where, I mean, it's not a long run to begin with. <clears throat> but it's not really a run where you get to take a break. You do get uh, some time around the 120 mark, 1 hour 20 minutes. When you take the tardy boat ride and the, the other tardy boat ride, you can run up and grab a snack if you need to or something. So hopefully we won't fail at this so we don't have to watch this a bunch of times but I would say that's probably unlikely just gotta be realistic <laughs> yeah like you're trying to run right and left and oh idiot We'll see how well some of the uh, regular mode strats carry over to pain mode. I feel like they won't. I've never even I've never completed this before. This is kind of where you should start paying attention again once you hear the dog bark. Then you know it's kind of like you. It's probably too late at that point if you're not paying attention. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Terry hints. So before you do anything, you want to turn off battle animations, instant text, use a joy. Walk away from Hintmaster. So the beginning it's kind of just whatever, pick up some bottles, you're going to lose everything that you get anyway, but having the bottles allows Terry to do respectable damage for a couple turns. So we pick those up on the way. Start spamming. I have no idea what this guy's name even is. Dead guy. Dead friend. Sorry, guy. I guess in pain mode you can't save either, or like you can save once. I don't feel like I save a lot, but there are definitely times like before roulette and things like that where making a safety save is not really a bad idea. So we'll see how that will play out. Crying is good. Oh, that's not using the right abilities is very bad. Doing. Okay, well, okay. Holy. Little rusty. Trying 
cast all these firewalls and stuff when I'm level one. What a champion. So there's two ways you can go. You can take the bottom path and fall. You take 100 damage. Um, there have been times where Terry's died on me from that 100 damage, so I've started to take the safe route. I'm sure it's a second here or there. Um, I didn't get hit by Stingray, so it might not have been a bad idea, because really you're only going to take one or two hits But from, from Sugar Mountain. But you're not dying to Sugar Mountain, you're dying later on, and especially once you get to the snakes, that extra damage can really hurt you. Um, because there's a good chance that you haven't... Shit, I should be paying attention here. There's a good chance that you haven't healed or anything like that. So same strats here, throw the bottle with Terry. W is Brad, which is what I did not do last time. That's nice to use the you with that, and whatever you get here. Which is... Huh, perfume and... I think it was a jerky? Again, we're going to lose all of our items here in a second. So what I like to do is heal up Brad right here, use the last joy that I have, and hopefully that'll extend my, my joy by a couple of battle turns, and that'll be pretty useful. Our old buddy Chris. I've heard of people giving up Terry here and fighting him later. You get extra XP, but I mean, it's a it's a battle where he has two two uh, light. <laughs> so it makes your it makes your mid game a lot riskier. I think I would never I've never considered doing it. I don't I don't really know. I mean, maybe somebody finds it very beneficial. I'm not sure. Holy heck. Hey, yeah, that is so much vulgarity, I never figured out why the guy says holy heck right there. So we're gonna pop in here and grab the cigarette, because we're gonna sell it. In order to get all of our team members, or like our initial team members that are gonna help us kill Charmy. You don't have to do it. I mean, it costs a couple seconds to save you some time later on. The other option is to sell all of Terry's equipment, except for the Hindlord bands you equip on Brad. You sell Brad's sweaty wristbands, but uh, I mean, having the defense on Terry for the snake, if he lives, is good. You buy a potato liquor here because it gives you 50 mags on the next screen. Greasy pages. Get that bottle because now we have no bottles. We'll come back up this way afterwards. So you go this way for two reasons. Uh, you get some joy for free, which is very important, especially in pain mode. And you also get another cigarette, which allows you to get enough uh, money to get uh, the rest of your team. You enter the left door because you'll come out on the right door so you gain a frame maybe. A couple of frames. Take our two cigarettes and we'll go and sell them. Then we'll go and recruit. Whoops. 
Full in and rage. <coughs> well, hi. I mean, if you're if you're starting out, especially not on pain mode, um, saving in a couple places is a good idea. And just walking by the car and thinking about it, you go up here for two reasons: you get these bottles, you fall down on this guy, talk to his brother, and he gives you a perfume, um, which will help you with snake RNG. It costs time. Uh, I mean. Could optimize it and just walk right past all that, no soup, no nothing. Uh, or even just get the soup if you're so inclined, but I mean the snakes in the next section can mess you over so badly. It's really nice to have um so. I split once I get out of the bar, I don't I mean you can probably split as soon as you get rage or whole land, whichever one you get second. It's up to you. You might wonder here for some free XP. You still have joy. <laughs> to really delay them. And of course somebody dies. I'm not gonna res them because I don't care. If there's anyone you really want aside from Rad, Rage just such stuff could kinda of come in handy, but Olin is a nice party member to have. In case something goes wrong during like roulette or something like that. I mean, he gets poison, uh, he gets the fire, with the bomb. You run from Chuckles here because he really has nothing to offer you. Uh, he'd give you a little bit of XP, which can be nice. But the important thing is you want to have as much HP as possible going into this section here, which I walked by. So we're going to hope for some good RNG, this part is super super RNG heavy, the number of encounters yet, and if you run or don't run. So, okay, okay, okay we're off to a not good start, don't kill Terry, okay, this is going to be bad, yeah, yep. So, fuck, I mean, We'll try and ride it out. Oh, come on. If we can make it out in two, then we're okay. Okay. I mean, this is a little risky. It has more HP, which says. Right. You just walk right by the guy. I think he's harder than the okay than the original iteration. I mean, now I have two options here. I can leave Olin dead, or I can rest. I think we're gonna risk it and leave him dead. Terry has to be alive because we need verbal bash. So we're gonna perfume Terry, we're gonna soup Terry, and we're gonna joy Brad. And right. So you use verbal bash here, and your hope is that what do we have? Resing Olin probably would have been better, but. Okay. Okay, here we go. He's so we'll see where his next attack goes. If it's not on Brad, we're gonna be okay. Okay. Oh, I can't believe he's not dead yet. I thought I had done enough damage for him to be dead after one crit. All right, that's pretty close. So that's the ideal situation. Um, the problem right now is nobody has any um, 
SP or anything like that. So we're gonna have to go to the camp no matter what. Assuming we make it out of Snake Park too. I could rest there, but it's not worth it. Okay. No more snakes. Shouldn't open my fat mouth. Alright, you lose joy, yeah, that sucks. I mean, you'd lose it at the camp anyway, it's not really a big deal. Oh, come on! Not like this. Not like this! No more. Okay. Cool. Take your soup and rest. Oh, you know what? I think I was actually supposed to. Ah, I think I was supposed to get the fire bombs. So you know what? Maybe we'll go get it with the bike and see how that works out. Because why not? A lot of people tend not to kill these things. Um, and really, it's. at your discretion. I like to kill it because it can drop stuff for you. Uh, like the cola. I just made a bunch of soup too, so I'm gonna have to use that soup. Shoot. Wasting time. I mean, if you pick the third, the third thing, it's gonna go much faster. Uh, so I made a couple mistakes here too, but we'll see how this goes. These guys really don't have a lot of HP, um, and they really shouldn't be able to do too much to me. So I'm not three XP at this point. Ideal way to, to do it, you do it the other way so you guys would be stronger, you'd look through the snakes. I do have the bike now. Plus. I don't know. Oh, okay. So my second W didn't register there, and that's never a good thing. They look really tough. Um, looks like they have a lot of HP and whatever, but really it's not that big of a deal. So you'll notice I'm running a little faster. Um, there's kind of a glitch where if you dismount off the bike at the top, as soon as you're um, as soon as you're going at the top of a rope or the bottom of a rope, I find it's a little harder to do it from the bottom. You'll get an extra bunch of move speed. Uh, the only problem is, it knows you're not on the bike, so you take fall damage. So when I jump down and stuff like that, I always say I want to be on the bike. If you notice that I'm kind of going slow at the, uh, at the end, it's at the end of the cliffs or whatever. Uh, it's just because I'm lagging a little bit <laughs> at the edge of a cliff. Because there's nothing <laughs> losing a run because you run off the mile, and it's happened enough that I'm willing to be cautious about it. Okay, health is fine, everything's fine. I had to think about what I was doing. I don't, I don't need to fight him, especially because I got the XP from the other guys. I should be set. Okay, I'm just climb up here, up, 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 up and then down. Uh, Barrel Roads is not really too hard of a section. Doing the one cycle there is nice, it saves a little bit of time. You come back for that perfume after.
to get off the bike to climb here anyway, because this dude kicks you off your bike. Scott Lawson. You just got kicked in the groin. You don't go off the bike here because you jump to kick some groins. amount of times I've jumped off the edge there is is too many to talk about. Like it's happened enough. I try and pay more attention. Uh, oh, that's good. Oh. I might have been up in one second on there. Kind of just spamming though and wait. My initial input for Brad was S, which was not what I was looking for. So we're gonna go fight Hair Club here. We have some fire bombs, so I don't think it'll be too much trouble. Hey, what's up, dude? Still gonna enjoy Brad. Just be safe. And I'm gonna use one of the best line in the game coming up. I mean, there's a lot of good lines in this game, but... You dandy fuck. It's so good. Okay, let's pay attention here. Do this the right way. Oh, wow! Well, that was pretty clutch, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, I'll just fire a bomb. You can. Up. Really? Can you die, please? I mean, I guess I can't ask for much more than that. Oh, God. I always do that. Over tap. Forgot to get this bottle. I think we're doing okay. I don't think I really need to rest up or anything. Uh, I go up here to get Jax, because I am going to get Jack later. I don't know how Jack's going to work out in pain mode, but I think it's worth a shot. So, we'll see. Always make sure you're on the bike there. Fall into that little hole too. He has a really cheap skill uh, that you can just spam for fire damage, and he can crit uh, with the fire damage, so he, he becomes much better than Percy. Not that I would recommend not using Percy either, but... Skip both of those. Uh, 
You know what? I forgot about this guy. I don't really care. It... Really? Uh, you know what? I didn't know you could skip that. Now we all know. Uh, but I want the experience. That was something I've never seen. So, yeah. That's cool. Uh, I mean, I had the joy anyway. I'm gonna rejoin before. Um, sweet tea. Okay, sometimes you can Sweet music here, too. You can rest here for free. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember that for Cosmo. Cosmo skip. I mean, if you if you have enough experience for it, that's good. Save. Okay. I think I'm supposed to have firebombs here, and I don't. Well, this is gonna be fun. Or it's not. We'll try that verbal bash strats for the win. My notes say I'm supposed to have fire bombs, and maybe I used too many on the other two chuckles. It's possible that I already messed up. Let's try it again. I mean, if it's, if it's clear that oh, I didn't use joy either. Oh god. Okay. Now we're just in. We're in full-on panic mode. Yeah, I've, ne I've never played through it casually, so I don't, uh, I don't really know what I'm supposed to expect here. Okay, we didn't get to The, like, you normally get the bottle of dirty water so you can um, poison Rando at the end of the game. Okay, well, we'll see if it I mean, it's doing some serious work. Was nice. Uh, you poison him in the first and second phases if you can. I mean, obviously, each time his mask like cracks or breaks or whatever, um, 
he loses all debuffs. Uh, but poisoning him, I think it does 1,500 a tick. So you get some some free damage. I mean, in a fight where you want it to be over as fast as possible, uh, poisoning him is not a bad idea. Rick. Where's Buddy? So, there's a weird menu glitch that can sometimes happen. If you try and menu, you can get into it and you're not supposed to. If you can get into it, I find in this part, then you can get into it anywhere in any area where you're not supposed to be able to menu. Uh, but it doesn't always work and I don't, I've never figured out why it works sometimes or doesn't work. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You, just, you don't punch him or anything, you just hit the club right away. No, you can't, you can't from what I've seen, you can't skip any cutscenes with it. Um, it's, it might save a little bit of time because you can use the bike in the you're not supposed to. Uh, like before you get TNT, like after Horus. Um, that's the only real time save I can think of. Otherwise, it's kind of funny because you can change from... Shit, I made a mistake there. You're supposed to de-equip Terry, since you're going to kill him anyway. Um, need to make sure that I actually kill Terry. I did a full armless run because I did not kill Terry, and that was interesting. Uh, actually, at the time, I got a PB from it. But uh, yeah, anyway, with that other glitch... It's like, when you're in the uh, bulldozer, if you use it, uh, if you use the menu glitch, it puts you back on your, like, regular, regular, uh, just walking. Yeah, this goes, I'm lagging a little bit here. I mean, they're not really like that hard, but it's they can. I've I've failed runs here before uh, because I didn't heal up first. So yeah, the Snowy Mountain area is insanely, insanely laggy. The Wally area too. I it has something to do with the backgrounds. I think um, I don't know if it's like a what type of issue it is, but I've actually meant to try and run the game in the other the Legacy mode. Just to see if it helps with the lag, but I've never actually given it a shot. Yeah, this is the snow mode. I I pretty much just sit there and do nothing. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, rage is dead. Even pay attention to that. All right. Stay enjoyed. Stay enjoyed. Yeah, of course you. Is he 
you want to kill the two guys inside there, but the bulk of the work. Really? Always remember to get on your bike here, or yeah, yeah, bike, bike. There we go. And I'm gonna want to save here just in case. I mean, I know I've already kind of borked up, but this is your last point before roulette. Point. So roulette is like maybe the maybe the biggest RNG element of the game. I choose party because I never use them. Alright. I always do Percy last anyway. As long as Percy lives, I don't feel too too bad about it because he's the only one I care about, okay. Two for two. Come on, Party, you can do it, buddy. Alright. 33 for 3. And I split as soon as I get out. Say hi to your man Bucket. You can go get that bottle if you miss one or you think you need one. You get the jerky here because you can use it and then you jump down this way. Uh, so you have a faster time getting away from her. I can't remember what this guy's name is. It's like Gary or something. I don't know, I find Farty dies like first shot so much for me. This is a, like the most hilarious subplot in this game. Best walk. So we can't get birdie just yet because we don't have any whiskey. Uh, we don't take the swamp way to get the whiskey because I'm gonna get Jack. Whoops. This might be a good spot to safety save too. So I'm not coming back here for anything. Take that cigarette because you can sell it. <laughs> oh, because we killed those dudes, we have enough. Oh, I just needed the cigarette. Wow, what a what a boon. All right. So you give the doll to this guy. He gives you some whiskey, which you can use to get birdie. Thought it was gonna run off the edge there. Hey! Are you a wizard? Truck bacteria too. Not twice. You truck back because I think it's faster. I don't actually know if it's faster or not. If you do what I'm doing here, it's definitely not faster. But the other way, because you actually gotta run so far underneath and stuff, I find that this is a little bit quicker. So we get the man birdie. Before you go back, change your gang here. Um, I'm gonna take Rage out. Oh no, I'm gonna take both of them out. What am I talking about? First thing, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay. We know how to play this game. Don't we? You can, again, I do that to get the, the move speed glitch for the ropes. Uh, you can do it by pressing dismount at the bottom of the ropes. I'm just terrible at it. I'm really good at hitting it from the top. Really bad at hitting it from the bottom. Freebie there. Don't need to use the in. In is really good if you have money. 
Uh, always use the anti-air if you're even a little bit injured. No reason not to. Oh my god. Okay. This area lags a little bit too. Or a lot of it. Yeah. This guy I'm always gonna hit, but we're gonna try not to. Yeah, of course. Um, I've never really used Mad Dog myself. I'm sure he's serviceable. I think he starts with Fireball, which is good, but I think the time it takes to get Jack, uh, like, I mean, it really took me no time at all to get him there, especially because I already had the 200 points. Um, so, yeah, because you get him back in A1, right, which would be nice. Um, but I think he's a TP user, if I'm correct. Oh, forgot about you. This is not good. The reason that Jack is so valuable is because his moves are so cheap and you can use them all the time. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just about time. The reason that I like, uh... I like getting Jack, it's, even though it costs me a little bit of time here, don't do that that way. Um, it saves so much time later on. I'm gonna save here because I don't know if it's different, so I can't make it with the menu. Yeah, you always want to get birdie. Um, I've heard of runs where you don't, you don't get him. I don't... I don't know. I think he's the MVP of this run. He's oiled up. We'll see how my spamming goes here. It usually goes pretty well. I think my face turns red. Look, that guy turns red. This subplot is pretty funny too. Yeah, it, it, like it makes everybody vulnerable to fire. Um, they take so much more fire damage, so it becomes your main source of DPS. If you had a way to get Brad lots of levels, it would be really great if you could use Fireball 3 with it. <laughs> but, uh, kind of a low level run for Brad, so. So we'll attack, we'll attack, we have some TP, so we'll spit. Uh, Jack's regular attack is nice because you can make them bleed. Which doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Can we get cry? Why not? Yeah, trick card for 10 is so good. Uh, you can drink. Don't do what I did. Don't just waste his SP. Oh, look at that. Thanks, boys. So you get the hat because you can sell it later. See, if you could menu here, you can get on the bike, which is nice. Always get the four firebombs. If you don't have the bottles, I'm so sorry. Uh, how bad is my time? I cannot see my own splits. Where am I going? Come on. So this is the, in my opinion, this is the other big choke point of the run. Uh, not a pain mode run, mind you. Of a regular, I keep forgetting I'm doing pain mode this time. It's really gonna come back to haunt me, I'm sure. Um, Wally can just. He can mess you up.
because Wally just hits so hard. Poison would be nice for Wally too if I didn't waste all my poison already. Uh, if you had like Geese or Olan here, uh, Poison would be pretty valuable. We'll see if we can get some good crits and I'll probably use a TNT on him on phase three. Probably. Yeah, these these two are actually they can be quite a nightmare. Um, what do we have? Fireball two. No, you're gonna do this. You are also gonna do that, and we're gonna hope that's gonna carry. All right. This. All right, that was lucky. So you you want to take care of those guys ASAP? So it's either TNT or. Uh, diesel. The diesel did just enough damage to the one, not quite enough to the other, but I flip them. You run from these deer, or you pull a me, and you don't run from these deer. Oh my god. In my regular PB, uh, I think I had like an insane amount of run failures versus the deer, like six or seven. I was cursing. I don't know what's going on, but man, I was living. Pull Joy up before uh, Nuggy here. Okay, lagging. Take it easy. Okay. Ah, uh, he has 72. He should be okay. Nuggy's kind of the same thing, and, and eventually a lot of the strats just come back to the same thing. It's oil up, and then duff them. With Brad, you don't want to use any fire attacks, even though it... Oh, that is brutal. Uh, you don't want to use any fire attacks, even if it's he's oiled up. Come on, guys. What is going on? This is insane. Is he still hold up? Oh, he is still hold up. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Choke, 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 choke. Oh, can you die, please? Alright. Of at least one carryover attack of joy on Wally, which, well, assuming I don't run into any more deers. You save because Wally can, like, what? Like, I'm saving a little bit more than I normally would, but I have a funny feeling I'm gonna die to Wally, so. I don't really want that. To end the run. I'm gonna have to use a random ration on Brad, which is not really a big deal. Um, normally, I s you have to sell a bunch to get the uh, jack, so whatever. Well, not really. Everybody else HP is okay. Oh, I used another joy. That was a really big waste. Okay. use any fire until the oil thing is applied. Jack and Percy are always going to attack first, so you, um, you wait one turn. We'll swing with that. Oh, that is Wow! Okay, the debuffs are like really real. I really like to save the TNT for the last phase, just to end it quickly. I find he does um, scaling damage, so he starts to do more the longer the fight goes. I really don't want Birdie to die. This, this is going about as bad as 
All right. Hopefully, oil up will last more than one turn. Whoops. So when the mask cracks, uh, oiled up falls off. I'm hitting the wrong buttons, joy has run out. So you have to reapply. Hold up. There we go. Um, I'll do that just in case. I find that the debuffs fall off Wally, like, really frequently. We'll take a drink. Wow, really? It f oh, one turn. So yeah. So, I mean... We'll, we'll see. We'll... If we get the gasoline here, we're good. Okay. I mean, hopefully... He's depressed. Shit. This is gonna be a bit risky. We're good. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that was I felt like that was pretty slow. But he died. I wasted a joy. Now I'm just into like full spam save mode. What? Oh, that's garbage. I was up the ladder. Okay, anytime you want to die, man. The spiders are the worst. Waste of time. Oh, it was the one above! Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Oh. I thought I could beat it. Okay, just these. Come on. I don't know if I'm lagging or what it is. Oh god! Ooh. Alright. We in there. Why is there a rope there? I never figured it out. What do you mean if you look down? So you split when Buddy joins you, or you can split when you get whacked in the face, I mean. Spam, spam, spam. <clears throat> way if you don't want to see child abuse. Bop. So see, like, if the glitch was working, you could open the menu right now uh, and go on your bike. Which you can't. I mean, and that wouldn't save you too much time or anything, but... Oh, if you, like, turn. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. You can save, like, a second there if you do that. Okay, I have to use a random ration. I don't know why I always have a hard time with Stinky. Sticky, whatever his name is. I, 
I think it's Studio who said he wants to have a game at HDQ, and I think he actually submitted it. I mean, when you look at the content of the game, trying to help yeah it's it's interesting because there's a lot of things you can do with it you never want to go straight here um, and give the guys a TNT for 100 megs because the TNT is just more valuable to you straight up and you don't want to run off the edge like a dummy so you always want to go up and around I don't care how much extra time it takes it's worth it One thing I've started doing here is equipping the poncho straight away because it gives good defense values for Brad. I should be joined up and I'm not. We'll see how this is going to go. Who's going to take home the prom queen? Yeah, this game would be really great if it could be at a GDQ, but for mature audiences only. Um, what are we gonna do? You know what, why don't you take one of those? And why don't you take another one of those? Don't kill, nope. Mm. Not sure how I feel, okay. Not sure how I feel about what's going on here. That fight went pretty well. Oh yeah, this guy. Uh... I feel like I should have more joy than I have. But I have no other way to really kill this guy right now. to get the queen uh, wristbands without having to sell too much stuff.
You have to kill those guys. Um, it's not an option to let them live. You would be... Like... I don't know, if you wanted to create some... Weird mercy speedrun category where you give up both your arms and... Save all your party members and don't do what I'm about to do. Which is something else that could never be done at a GDQ. Like, cutting off nipples and stuff, I mean... Good lord. Um, yeah, you, uh... Thanks. On my first playthrough when I got to this part, I burst out laughing. Well, she got away. Just great plot device. It would be an interesting run if you could uh, just give up all of your stuff, but I mean, you need like the TNT and all that stuff. So this is going to be interesting. I think I need to use... Having some TP items would be nice. Do you have Fireball 3 yet? No. Oh, you don't have any TP items. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I just forget the buttons. I didn't think that could crit. I thought only MP3 could crit. Alright. So that guy's weak to fire, isn't it? Um, so oiling him up just makes him take insane amounts of damage. So there's a standard route here. Uh, people can get confused. I got really confused my first playthrough. It's, uh... Right, right, left, left. You always jump as soon as you go through the door. Hopefully this isn't too bad. I can't use anything with Brad though. Oh, shit. Oh, what do they have? 2,000 HP? Or uh, I don't think Joy and Jack would do anything. Um, I try not to enjoy any of the other characters if I don't have to. But that's just me. Jack is a bit of a glass cannon. We are gonna turn around here and blow these guys up with TNT. Um, but I would still like Brad to have. Oh, that was not what I wanted to because I don't have it in my gun. That went really well. There's still a couple of tough fights left. This is where... Oh, not this one, but the next one. Using the bike starts to save a lot of time. Um, I believe my man Hawk is different here. I don't know. I think he has permit kill stuff, which will make me cry. What? Get on the bike here. You don't take. 
it's worth it, in my opinion. Uh, don't kill Jack? Okay. Up forever. Oh, I think there's one more before Hawk anyway. Oh, well, whatever. This, I find this uh, screen here is very, very laggy too. And I've never been able to figure out Fit their other guys. I don't really care so much. Um, I knew one of them could use the Wow, so laggy. I don't know if it looks laggy to you or not, but it is laggy. Hey, hilarious, hilarious. I don't get the sweet music. Weak. I need something for Percy. He is done. Okay. I guess I didn't need anything for Percy because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I guess. I don't even know, like, do I put somebody in there just for posterity? I split after I get the cloth. Um, yeah, there's another guy coming up who does it to kill moves too. I guess. I guess we'll take Olan because he can do fire. Do I want to save now too? Uh, I don't know. What should I do? Uh, doing the bike glitch here really helps. It saves a lot of time because these are long ropes. Do we get this? I don't want to get over there. Oh, did I just split? I think I did. Yeah, we did. Alright. My bad. We'll waste a little bit of time there. Hopefully that'll help these guys a little, a little bit. It cost me a lot more time because I had to go back and re-split. This some sweet music too. This game has some really good tracks. Low, high, low. There. This encounter that is going to come up is unavoidable. Uh, 
I said more there, I meant like better on TV. Because now I'm gonna need TP before uh, I go into Bloody as Wool. I pack here. Poison arrow. That would have been so useful. Yeah, I uh, I did not have a fun time against Wally. But I mean, I didn't I didn't die, which is nice. Harpy run joyful, right? Oh yeah, this dude. It's this dude's thing. Joy. We should probably heal Chuckles here. Yeah. This is another instant kill guy. So... You know... Like he says, you're gonna have a bad time. Don't kill. Okay, okay, oh, please don't kill Birdie of all the people not to kill. I would be devastated. Kill Olin, I don't know about him. Okay, whatever, things are happening. This game is fun, I've never played, uh... uh I don't know, I have to do a casual playthrough first. So I asked him to kill Olin, and he killed him. So, I don't really know how I'm supposed to feel about that. And... Welcome to Lagtown. Yep, we're just gonna ride this one out, boys and girls. Because this game doesn't really give me a lot of options. You only get hit if you're, like, immediately to the left, I think. Left or right. Um... But I don't know for sure. Sometimes I take damage in weird spots and I don't really understand why. So I try to just avoid them at all costs. I'm also walking really slow because it's really laggy. And uh, I don't really want to take any damage, I don't want to fall off the edge here. Okay, so we have no party members for this. No, like, extra party member. Just in case we get shot here. The 
kamikaze football players? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so laggy, but why? Yeah, I will say harp. This game is it's fun. You like RNG and everything. I mean, you can you can route it so that you don't have to worry too too much about it. But uh, like you should always well not always. If you can finish the first thirty minutes, usually you can finish the game. Um, use a couple of saves if you have to. I mean, even the roulette. If you die on roulette, I've died and gone back. Uh, and still gotten, you know, sub 140. So, yeah, so you, if you dismount, um, just as you climb to the top of a rope, uh, you'll, you'll maintain the move speed from the bike while being off the bike, and you'll get double the rope speed. Alright. Um, I think I'm supposed to joy. Jeez. I'm, I'm sure this sounds really bad. Like, I just sound like a moron. Stop it. No. Well, you know what? I guess I don't really care. As long as it is. What? I have fireball for now, don't I? Oh, no, no, no. Don't kill me. I don't think I've ever had this much. This many levels on a brad. Like, it's just unheard of. <laughs> I've never killed me. I've never seen that. Still lagging, still lagging, still lagging. Bald guy, your teamwork's on point. Alright. I hope that split actually worked. And goodbye to the lag. Nope. So there's a couple things you can do here. Um, you don't really care about anything your party members have. Brad should have the best gear anyway. Um, but you can go here, hello, and buy some iced coffees. I had exactly 50 mags, so to hell with it, I'll get one. It's just a, basically like an extra rando ration. Uh, my time is like okay, I think. Based on what I saw there, the 116. So I probably split around 120. We'll find out when my splits are here in a sec. So this is your like break. You can stretch to the awesome music. 124. Uh, that time is not that good. Uh, I could probably do better. I mean, for a first run, it's okay. Uh, I think my time's up to Hawk Hollywood. For sure, I probably should have used a lot more this run, based on how many I have right now. I think Farty has, or Tardy or whatever the name is, has a thousand HP, so you can do pretty much anything to him if you have joy. Marty! What's up, buddy? 
Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you to hide from child abuse. You know what? <laughs> so yeah, you can skip phases on that fight, assuming you do enough damage. <laughs> Never ever save here. Big time loss. Like, if you're playing casually, sure, save whatever. I don't know why you would anyway. I think there's one fight between this and the last save point. I'm surprised, guys. No Bible thumps for Marty. Rip. Take a sweet ride. Yeah, Marty's a pretty bad dude. Okay, well you can Bible thump to get you. Kick Buddy in the face, and then you punch Buddy, and you know. <laughs> I mean, in terms of in terms of running this game, like the end part here is pretty pretty standard. Um, I'm gonna try and grab some extra fire bombs just in case because I don't know how the end is gonna go. Um, but I'm not. Uh, I should see how many random rations I have. I don't have to join before Engine any because I joined at the end of Marty. So I, it's no hug, man. You lose time. I don't know what you think this is, but no hugs are coming. I'm sorry. Tears will be shed. You can Bible thump at that time. How's that? You ready your Bible thumps? Get these ones. I don't think I need to get the other ones. I should check. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of. I think I might. Oh, come on. Some mistakes. I think I might uh, have a pretty reasonable time here. I don't remember what the what the record on speedruns.com is. But I think I'm probably close. Okay, you know what? Uh, oh, we have six random rations. I can't imagine we'd be bad here. We are going to use one right now. Because we need SP. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll be pretty close to that time, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be hilarious because you're gonna see at the end of the run. Oh no, I just I turned off the steam overlay. You're not gonna see. The wow, that sucks. Uh. Because I've never I've never cleared this mode before. <laughs> I should change my last split to failure failure guy instead. Split right there. <laughs> Even though there's no real value to doing it.
Yeah, we'll get those just in case. It's definitely not optimal, especially since I had a menu to figure it out. But, I don't know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. I usually save here, truth be told, because I've died on rando before, not on pain mode. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to want that. I don't know what the hell I've written that for. Rip dude. Oh, it automatically puts Buffalo in your party? Oh, yeah, I guess because he joins right at the end. That's right. Oh, did I split at the end? Or did I not split? Like at the last save? Oh, no fall? Really? Real talk? There we go. That's more like it. Okay, I'll split. Thank you, Thank you for edumacating me on my own failures. Um, since he's almost dead. I do that. I'm just gonna die to that. All right, boys. Today is the day I live. Wow, low roll. Come on, come on, come on. That was done percent. Oh man, I should have went with the slide. No stun, please. Oh, come on. Stop it. Okay, good. Oh my god, this is brutal. I don't know why, why am I using diesel? Oh, that is bad. I don't like... I know it's low damage, but I'm doing this so I can safely joy. Without risking getting... If you get stunned without joy, man, you know.
see if your menu glitch worked. You could menu here and remove all the arrows and shit like that. Uh, you could pop into the menu when you're a joy monster, um, and you would just be regular Brad walking very slowly. Okay, boys. <laughs> oh, no poison! Weak! <laughs> wow, that shit is so weak. And then you want, I usually do headbutt because you can stun him, and he can miss a turn. Or not, because he's the best in the world. Oh shit. Like, if you're not enjoyed, there's no point in attacking this time. Funny, it makes it look like you you beat them all with your bare hands, but really you just chuck a bunch of bombs at them. So now this is hold right simulator. Oh, oh god, that is the worst. Not like not even paying attention at all. That'll show me. Here's a good donation incentive for SGDQ. Hug percent. This is it. Come on. No hugs rip. Bible thump, Bible thump. Oh, Brad QQs. <laughs> it is a pretty depressing ending. I think we're looking at a 141. I don't know if you actually have to press anything through here, I just usually spam. Anyways, because I'm a spammer, spam those buttons, but we'll rest the fingers. Special thanks, Martin Armstrong. Atta boy, Marty. Right simulator. So, I know it's supposed to be his leg, but doesn't it look an awful lot like his beard stretches all the way around and is pushing him forward? I don't know. Personally, I think you should end the run when Brad falls down, because the last part is a bit pointless. I can't disagree with that at all. But, I mean, you still have inputs technically, right? You can go all the way in the other direction if you want. 
although you can't do anything with it. That was a bit of a late split. But, what do you think, boys? What was the record? 143. Alright. Oh yeah, I've never seen this. Am I? Oh, I'm supposed to like move around and stuff. Oh, this doesn't count in the time, does it? I don't think it does. I I get I guess. Oh, so this is rando? Yeah, I don't know. Check the rules. Where was I supposed to split? I mean, I can add the time, even though I'm reading it slowly like an idiot. Wow. Dang. Poor little rando. So Rano's actually his son? That was fucked up.